Throughout the year, I never really allowed myself to believe because there were games throughout the year which really, personally and from an organisational perspective, frustrated me. The GWS game, uh, the Fremantle game after the siren, Sydney game where we were up by, by a fair bit, the Bulldogs game, all those games which came down to the last couple of minutes of a game really frustrated me and annoyed me and so I never really wanted to allow myself to believe that yeah we could win the Premiership because if that was taken away from me I know that would be you know horrendous. Night a high ball, Tex good position, backing back Ranch with a ripper. He's almost, he may win the Norm Smith, I mean the stats say no but he's had as big an influence as anyone today. The game was probably played in two halves I feel, the first half was really frenetic and I was probably involved a bit more personally with a lot more defensive acts and the, the ball transition probably full length of the ground a bit more and that was probably a little bit where we could have lost it, uh, lost our, our cool a little bit but it was, it was good that we uh, stood strong and, and made sure that we were really calm and clear as to what we wanted to achieve and I think we did that and then in the second half it was like just a, a steamroll effect where our pressure just came and we didn't really see much of it as backs, it was great. We just pressed up the ground, set up well and um, turned the ball over in our forward half and Dusty did the rest. It's funny, the final siren, I thought I had an idea in my mind of what it was and then watching it back, it was completely different. But the one thing I, I really do remember is seeing Dave Asprey so close to me because we're always in the same setup. You know when you're on like a, a slide or something like that and you're sitting at the top waiting to sort of drop down, it was like that feeling like, oh, oh. And then when the siren went, it was just this wave of emotion over us and just everyone running around frantically and just embracing Dave and, and just saying how much we couldn't believe that it happened to us. In years gone by, I always was thinking to myself, I wish we had won that game. I wish I had played better in that game. If only uh, the, the, the ball didn't bounce that way. This year, it doesn't matter. We, we won. Number 18, Alex Ratz. Every game we've played, whether it's been a win, we've learnt something, and whether it's been a loss, we've learnt something as well. So every, every single step that we've had this year has been worth every single bit of pain or, or happiness. When I got drafted, there were key people that probably got me through. Chris Newman being one, who I live with him. Will Thirstfield is probably another, just balancing the, the football and real life elements to it. Kel Moore. A lot of the backline guys, Joel Bowden, he, he set a fantastic standard as one of the great Richmond men and Matthew Richardson, people like that who really drove standards at a time when we weren't going so well as a side and I probably was in the wilderness as to who I was as an individual too. So a lot of those people I, I have to give a lot of credit for this success that we've got now. We love the Tiger Army, we can't thank them enough for the support they gave us. That's what I've always loved about this football club, it's kind of this love-hate because when we're going poorly, they let us know about it. When we're going well, they let us know about it. So it's, but you've got to love that. At least they're not wishy-washy. At least they've got a direction of where they want to go, like, like we do as players. The culture that we've got at this club is, is too competitive, is too proud, is too uh, hungry to, to just let one be enough. Well, I think we want more and we know that there's a lot of luck, hard work, mental fortitude in between that. But yeah, I think that we're always going to be aiming to be up there again. I love the group and I love the mentality that we've created down there and I'm, I'm going to make sure that every kid that comes in to our backline knows what it means to be a Richmond man and to be a Richmond backline man.